Here at the Grace Company, we find a need, and you, the quilter, are inspiration. And we always are looking for how we can innovate and create and fulfill that need. And that's how we got our start from the very beginning, is it was filling that need with our ingenuity and our design. From the hand quilting frames, where we worked with the ratchet system, and we rolled them all up, and we even started making them more portable and bringing that to the customer from the hoop frame. Because the hoop frames are a brilliant idea of, you know, quilting a larger quilt on a smaller frame and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And then the rolling frames, we've really come into our own with quilting frames all together. That's our start, graceframe.com. One other way that we've been able to innovate and create is through and looking forward to the future and what's next for the Grace Company. Yeah, we are really good at frames and we have developed those and we have done a great job. But the next step was, it was bringing you, the home-based quilter, a machine. And also there were questions that needed to be asked is how can we create a machine that's affordable for a home-based quilter that acts as a long arm and it is a long arm and how can we bring that to you our demographic because you are the key and then what can we develop uh, into it and make it just one of the best affordable machines out there in the world and that's what we bring to the table with Grace Company, is that we don't just develop, we investigate, we learn, and we take all of that and put it into all of our designs and all of our engineering. And we have some brilliant engineers, but we also listen to you, our quilters, and what you want and what you need. I'm a quilter too, and I like to develop and make things that work for me and for you. Engineering helps the home-based quilter in a whole lot of different ways. For all of our products and everything that we're trying to do, our big focus is on continuous improvement and continuous development. And one of the things that we try to do is continuously make your guys' lives easier. To make quilting a, something that you can do without having to worry about the different tools and the parts and you can just focus on the skills that you want to to make it so you can make your masterpieces, your projects that you're working on that you can get through the things that you want to accomplish and accomplish your own goals without having to fight with tools or other items or parts that you want to be able to use to be able to do that project. We want to make everything as simple and easy for you. Listening to customers is absolutely critical for being able to produce the products and services that our customers are looking for and to be able to provide the experiences that make customers want to keep coming back and to bring their friends with them for more. Now, we had a focus group a while ago, about a year, and we had sent some products out to them and the customers got their confirmation order, their email saying it's on their, your way, they were super excited to get it and then the emails came in to my inbox. And what was happening was we were sending two emails, one from UPS, one from FedEx for the same shipment. And of course that gets really confusing. <laughs> it was a problem that we didn't know we had with our system and our beta testers were amazing. As soon as they saw that, they reached out, they emailed me, they said, what is going on? And it was just a great example of something where we weren't trying to test our shipping confirmation system, but. Our beta testers were uh, just that key piece in identifying the problem and then helping us to solve that within a matter of days so that all of our customers had the clarity that they wanted and they could genuinely get excited about their products when the product shipped. Now one thing that we've learned about quilters is quilters love to be able to see what they're doing. It, it's just crucial. If you can't see and you can't see in a good light, um, it's hard to tell if what you're stitching out is what you want it to be. And so we had uh, the 16s came out and they had the throat lights and they had the bobbin lights and we just wanted to make that something special for our customers. And we got all this feedback from everybody else saying, well, where's ours? We want throat lights, we want bobbin lights. I don't get it, why are they so special? And so it's been really fun to work with the engineering team to sit back and go, okay, 
this is an important feature. This is something that's very important to our customers. And we were able to deliver. So our 19s and our 21s, if they haven't fully come out with the lights yet, they're definitely coming out with lights in the very near future as, as uh, we get those in here. So watch out for those. In the quilting world, Grace has always been known for innovation. We have been trying to break ground in so many different areas for quilting for all of, since the beginning of Grace, since the beginning of adding four rails to a frame to uh, doing hoop frames a little differently to make it so that your quilt will actually kind of match the shape of your hoop. And from all the way back from hand quilting frames all the way up to long arm quilting machines, we have been trying to innovate for the home-based quilter to make it so we can give you what you guys need at a value that works for you. And trying to make it so that there is products available so you can get your projects done at home without having to send them out for somebody else to do them. And you can add your own creative elements to your own projects. It's very fun and very creative. I love the brainstorming process, working through different projects and being able to take something that kind of has existed and then just improving on it until we can make it better and better and make it so that it is something that somebody can enjoy, including with things like as simple as channel locks and just taking it so you, instead of rotating it on one angle, which uh, to lock down your machine so it doesn't move so you can do single direction quilting, creating cross hatches and stuff like that to rotating it to a different plane is something as simple as that can make it so you can guys get more space on your frame and it's that way it, sometimes those simple innovations that go the furthest that take it so you can have the best experience with your products. One of the things that we've been trying to work on right now is for a having a walking foot available with our little rebel machines which is going to make it so again with the being able to do those cross hatch quilts without having to do that on a frame you would be able to then pull those big work pieces through on your machines we have been working on our improving our machine since the very beginning from the very introduction to our 14 plus 15 machine all the way through our newest little rebel machine we have never stopped developing essentially any of those machines when I started with the Grace Company, I was not a quilter, but I, I started in tech support and started quilting and got the bug. I love doing it. Um, I learned to quilt before I learned to piece because of my job, um, but still working on the piecing part. Um, yeah, and I think that helps with my testing because I know of what I want as the end result. I test it like a customer would be using the product, whether it's thread or a sewing machine. My big portion of the job is the software, do, uh, testing the software before it goes out to our customers. And then whatever the engineers have created and designed, it goes through my department and we test the machines. We're testing thread right now. Um, with the thread testing right now, how uh, it's working, how if we're having any problems with breakage and skipping stitches at yeah, widening the bobbins and then um, testing it on a real quilt. So my favorite day of the week is Tuesday. And Tuesday is my favorite day because I get to have time to just sit down and talk to our customers. We have weekly focus groups, one in the morning, one in the evening, and every week there's a new topic. And we just sit and chat about quilting. It's a great time. And a lot of it is just, I ask questions. I'm very curious. I always want to know why. Why is my favorite thing to ask? And I get to ask why in hundreds of different ways every week. Um, okay, so this is the someone of the most They're shopaholics. <laughs> How does uh, the little rebel feed that shopaholic in you? I feel like I can do more projects. I get to choose my own material. <laughs> Well, it's definitely an all-in-one. For someone that doesn't have a machine at all, I think it notches a couple different, um, it, it, it notches a couple different things so you, you can do more than just sew with it. Our focus group members are the most amazing quilters because they're very patient and they don't get frustrated with me when I keep asking why. I get to ask about trends. I get to ask about what's going on in the world of quilting and I get to learn. And every time they share something with me, every time they answer a question, my world becomes bigger. And in turn, that allows me to share that bigger world with the team here at Grace Company.
Little Rebel was a very fun project. It went through lots of different phases from even naming the project all the way through all of the development. We went through some very fun different brainstorming sessions on that. Even starting with uh, modeling the machine up with just clay and trying to figure out exactly what it needed to be and even trying to add the feed dogs into the machine just so that uh, feed dogs so you can take a longer arm or a mid arm quilting machine and also use it as a sewing machine. We might have to reevaluate the um, the secondary counterweight. Mm -hmm. How does that attach? We've got a couple of accelerometers that we connected to it. Do you put them on the shaft or on the uh, just the body? Right, right above the bearing. Oh, okay. Yep. That's cool. Um, and it's three different speeds. Yeah, I went through all the speeds that that we could attain with that motor at the time. Interesting. We went through lots of different challenges and hurdles to be able to get there with different phases of testing, brainstorming, uh, prototypes, and in multiple different phases, be able to create a product that we felt like was creating the best experience for people that they could do quilting and sewing all with one machine in one workspace. With our Luminous light bar, that's also gone through multiple phases of innovation. It actually started as a square tube light bar all the way up to this, the current version of the light bar with the round tubes and even the color of the light and the wavelength of the light trying to be able to make it so we can maximize the lighting in a quilter's workspace and then also trying to match that with the lights on our own sewing machines and quilting our long arm machines. And it took many samples actually and being able to test out the lights and the lumens on the lights to make it so we could create the right hue to make it so we felt like we could maximize the visibility on each quilt with varying colors. Another part of what's so great about working here at the Grace Company and how I feel like we're fulfilling a need out there is bringing our quilting community together and what we can provide and do as a community. And that's why we're here in this beautiful building. It's such a wonderful place to be. And when you come, you'll feel that camaraderie and that connection with other quilters. And it's just so exciting to see you come in and then walk out with a new perspective and a new connection where we're drawing people in from quilt guilds, when we visit and do the shows as well. It's connecting with you. You are a most important person to us here at The Grace Company. And how we connect with you, we do it in all sorts of different ways, through classes, through online events. And we just want you to know how grateful we are and how much we appreciate you as a quilter and how important you are into the world around us and to the Grace Company. So thank you, every one of you, for all that you do to help us move forward. In my completely biased opinion, Grace Company has the best customers in the world. And I mean that, and I get to talk to every, every almost every day. I get emails from customers every single day saying, hey, did you know this, did you, did you see this? I'm experiencing this, what are your thoughts on this? It's amazing to me the number of ways our customers find to reach out and just give their feedback. Now, if you want to be part of this amazing community of quilters who are engaged in giving this feedback and who are part of our innovative community here at Grace Company, send an email to our sales team. It's sales at graceframe.com. They can send you a link. It will send you to a survey. You fill out the survey. I just want to say a big thank you to all of our customers, to all of the the quilters who have reached out, who have worked with our team on this innovation. We truly can't do this without you. Your kindness, your generosity, your willingness to share your experiences, your insights, your ideas, it's humbling. I learn every time I speak to a quilter. And for that, all I can say is thank you.